Hi guys, and welcome to how to track a shot in After Effects. I'll show you the shot I'm working on, and I will show you the steps you have to take to track a shot. So here is a, I'll make it a little bit bigger, is a shot. Um, it's a royalty-free shot um, that I have the rights to, and it is, let's shrink that again, is just flying over a river, and I'm gonna have creatures fantasy creatures. Oh, there's a little bit of the castle I'm putting in there. Um, and I'll show you these creatures in a second. Let's go to one of these other compositions. Let's try river landscape. No, actually, unless that's a comp. I haven't worked on the shot in a while and I'm coming back to it. Aha, what do we have here? So we have a, looks like I have creatures here on the banks of the river and I have a bird flying into shot. And it is going very slow because it hasn't rendered it out yet. That's that green line right here on the timeline. And once you have it rendered, it'll go um, regular speed. So let's just let it do its thing. And then I'll show you how I tracked it. So basically, these guys, I have tracked to the data that After Effects gave me. Um, we're seeing some issues here with the shadow from the bird, which is right in this is a green screen shot of the bird and the animator has added the shadow. So I will chop that out uh, very soon. Let's have him fly off. And I don't think the castle's in this shot. So my goal is to put the castle in the background here because the heroes are going to full river. Um, and they've been talking about this for <laughs> I think eight years about going to full river. So it has to be a cool shot. So here it is real time. This is just my start. Um, I'm not very happy with how that bird's flying. Let's just see it one more time. And then, then we'll get to the castle. All right. So these guys are tracking good enough. Uh, I've just put him on top. There's no tracking data, but I might add it. Okay, so let's go to the castle here. River two. Uh, all right. So there we go. All right, so here we are in the shot. I'm just going to focus on this without the creatures. And we're trying to add this to the landscape. Um, so let's quickly show you how I got the data. So let's grab river. I'm going to right click and I go to do 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 do. I haven't used After Effects in a while. Uh, reveal in Explorer, uh, layer source and project. Uh, that will do. And it just shows me the layer. So you can quickly find it over here in your little project window. Um, so let's do a new composition. I'm going to left click and put it onto this here. And now we have river three. So this has no data on it. Okay, so here we are in with the river clip in here. And with the clip selected, we're now going to go up to animation and track camera. So it is analyzing the background, step one of two. And this takes a little while. So let's let it do its thing. And then when it's done, we, sh we should have tracking data that we can then apply stuff to. All right, so up in the top left here, we have frame 20. Yeah, it's going through, it's at 4%. And it's estimating that it's gonna be three minutes it's going frame by frame. It shouldn't take too long. All right, so as that's doing that, let's import something that we can attach to it. So let's go to our Spell Fury folder and maybe go to Creatures. And then let's maybe bring in a bat, the white bat, bat white. All right, so there it is there. Let's throw it on top. And then let's use a green screen, a key. Chroma key it. We'll go to keying, key light. And we're just going to eyedrop tool this. And then it's gone. So what we'd like to do... Now, how is our, okay, we're at 63% as far as our 3D camera tracker. 
let's now shrink this dude down uh, like so. So maybe he's flying over the, the banks of the river. And again, as this finishes up, nine seconds, eight, seven, six. Oh, then it went back to percentage. There we go. Okay, so it's done analyzing. I, it's auto, auto saving, which is always good. Solving the camera. You can see what it was doing. It's tracking all the spots there. And now let's just hit this 3D camera tracker so it's highlighted. And then we can choose the perspective that we want. So it's looking at all these points. Find something that sort of matches the layout of the land. So let's go, hmm, let's zoom in a bit. And let's find something. Um, we're getting, oh, right there. there. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's right click and we want to create a null layer. And let's see, do they all have cameras? Yes, set ground plate. We'll go create null and camera. So a null layer doesn't show up, but the point is locked onto that. So if we can go bat white and then go to track null so the parent will be that okay so i attached the it to the null i believe it to make this 3d now he's really small yeah okay so now i have to scale up the bat because he is now it's a 3d layer and it has shifted so let's change the x rotation there we go and maybe let's just scale him down as well, like so. There, now he is attached to the spot. So because we attached it to the null layer, he's going to stay there. Um, but now he matches the shot better. But of course, now we would like to, you know, have him move. So this is, let's say it was a stationary object, like a man. Um, he would be standing there. So that's what I did to those um, insect things that were over here on the the banks of the river. Um, but that's how you you do it. So let's just see this in real time. This would have worked a lot better with a static creature. But you'll get the gist of it. And he should go right out of frame. It's a really powerful tool in After Effects. I don't remember this being there back in the day. Uh, I believe this was Mocha, uh, which I think you can still use, but I never got into it too much. Okay, so let's just hit spacebar. Oh, it wants to render with it. Here, we can just uh, grab this and then it should play. Okay, so yes, it doesn't quite work for the bat because he wouldn't be just <laughs> sitting there hovering. Now, that for, at the very end there, he turned into like a, a hovering thing that might have worked. Uh, but yeah, so you guys get the point. Um, let's turn off these. We'll go to river. And we're going to go to 3D camera. And the render track points. Oh. Let's see. Let's turn that off. There. Okay. So he's just hovering there. So if you wanted him to hover there, you did the job. Um, now let's go on to the shot I'm working on. So I don't need this stuff here. I've already tracked the camera. Um, let's just maybe X click off of this. And we are going to go to the one where I'm putting the castle in. And I've already put some work into this. But... The trick is to mask um, so it looks like the castle's in the shot. It see this is a bit tricky. So what I'm trying to do is show that the forest is in front of this castle and is the castle staying where I want it to be? So let's let it render here. There's issues through here. lots of issues so this is really 
a mask a masking job where I'm gonna have to go in and just this doesn't look half bad there work on that edge uh, should be done rendering there there we go so as you can see yeah this is just has nothing to do with really tracking but does it look like the castle is there just placement wise let's have another look a little bit but these trees back here bug me you know i'm gonna make the castle just a little bit bigger is it here where's the layer right here okay let's make that a bit bigger it might solve some issues go to transform and scale just a little bit bigger and maybe let's shift it a little bit to the left all right let's have a look now Now I have this on full. Let's go to half and it should render faster, but still give us what we need to see. See, that's better. It's covering up some of the trees up in here. Uh, obviously the mask, there's issues there. Wait, did it? Okay, I thought it shifted right there. Yeah, that's not bad if I can make that work. I'm going to fix these trees. Here, I'll, so what here, what I'm going to do. See, there's trees that cover up this portion here. And then it shifts. Anyways, guys, this is going to take me some time just to fine tune the masks. So I've, I've drawn masks to, uh, um, but anyways, guys, if you have any questions about how to do some 3D tracking in After Effects, uh, please comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.